Okay. We'll close the eyes and we'll take 10 breaths. So settle in and access that breath. One more deep breath. Start with the hands together with the heart. Honoring yourself showing up today. Awesome, thank you so much for showing up today. We're gonna release your hands to the legs and we'll just do our little cat cows to get warmed up. Awesome. Roll the shoulders a bit. Take the hands up, interlace the fingers, press up. Draw the pinkies back. A breath or two here. Just kind of getting into it and then soothing yourself along the way. Gentle release the hands, float them down to the sides, roll the shoulders up and back. Let's take the right hand, push it forward, draw the arm bone back into place so that the deltoid is part, like level with the collarbones here, straight across, rather than like it pulling arm bone forward of the collarbone. We have this connection like plank pose. And take your arm all the way out to the side, press to the side. Maybe even back a little bit if that's comfortable and okay in your range. Reach through the palm, especially at the middle and point your finger area of the palm and slide that down, let it go. Other side, press forward, left arm. And slowly out to the side. We're gonna get more space through the inside of the arm, just like softer side of the arm. Hold here, breathe, relax your jaw. Any areas that are trying to hold it for you that don't need to. And let it go. Good, take your arms across the body to give yourself a hug. Draw the shoulder blades down. Roll in, so roll your chin down a little. Roll back through the spine. Good. 
Great, swoop both arms up to the sky, push both hands forward, and really extend them forward just a little bit. Um, any shoulder injuries, be mindful and maybe take it a little less. Draw your arm bones back into place so the shoulders fire up and the pecs in the front here are firing up to um, hold and maintain the outer shoulder blades here underneath, like kind of underneath the armpit shoulder blade on the outside, fires up to hold you. Now take your right hand back out to the side, feel that stretch across the front body, hold there and take the other one out to the side, all the way across. Palm to palm, more space. Exhale, float it down. Good, take one hand across to the opposite leg and cross the other one over. So we're just crossing the arms to the opposite leg. Lean back. Great, one more time, sweep your arms up. Exhale, come into your forward fold and relax a little bit. Take a couple more breaths. Great, right. walk your hands up, take the hands behind you, press down and lift up your heart. Exhale, soften that out. Change your leg position if you like. A few more cat cows. Upright, take your hands, grab onto the opposite elbow and just easy across the body, one direction the other direction. So I'm using my hand at the elbows just to help keep my alignment through my arms as I take it across the body. Maybe some stretch doesn't need to be a big stretch. We're gonna warm up and get lots of heat in the body. Good. Let that go. Let's come into our little forward fold here and we'll Take a couple more breaths. Bring the hands behind you one more time to shine up, shoulder blades down, rolling the arm bones away from each other towards the middle of the back towards the center of the spine between the shoulder blades. Good, let that go. And let's come on into table and warm up some more through cat cows. The arms stay about station stationary, everything else, the spine moves. From the tail, opening through the front, and then from the tail, opening through the back. Every little bit by bit. If there's a spot that feels extra tight or sore or interesting at all, you might hold there, take a breath. back into the table, take your left leg back and your right hand forward. Press into the midline. So as if your arm was drawing inward at the shoulder, hugging your shoulder, your arm bone in. The leg, arch side, inner thigh, presses in, strong. Low belly. Ribs, smooth breath, 
This is fine. One more breath. Gentle release, other side. So we find that sense of balance. Imagine that line from the inside of the arch traveling through the inside of the leg, the inner side of the leg, through the pelvic floor, through the front body, drawing into the spine, all the way through the length of your spine, through the other hand here. One strong midline of energy. Keep that back leg up, glutes engaged. Breathe smoothly, soften, exhale, let it go. Good, one more time through cat cows. Awesome, come into down dog. We'll be here for some breath cycles, maybe about six. Another two breaths. Great, lift your right leg up, three leg down, right leg lift straight up without rotation. Lift a little, little bit higher. Exhale, let that foot lead you all the way forward to the front of your mat. However you get there, little steps, one big step. Half lift, exhale, fold. Just lengthening the spine downward, top of the head towards the toes, relax your neck. Couple more breaths here, drawing the front body in, supporting that open space through the back. Rise up. Open out the arms side to side, bring it into the heart and stand in your mountain pose. Softly focus your eyes on one point. Soft bend in the knees. Feel your feet on the ground. Open palms, maybe you make some fists and release the fists. So squeeze in and then soften the hands open. Maybe even stretch your hands open. Engage your upper back so the arm bones draw back a little bit. Shining the heart open, navel in, ribs in. One more breath. Inhale, reach up. That is like just a moment of inner peace, maybe. Exhale, forward fold. So soft eyes, the soft stare. Halfway lift. Exhale, take your right foot all the way back. Soften that knee down. Use a pillow if you like. We're just going to be here for a breath or two, drawing the heart forward. I'm using my fingers on the ground but I'm not loading weight into them. They're just stabilizing for me. Good, now step back into plank pose. So we try to access that sense of mountain. Or any of the poses that bring you a sense of, of peace and quiet. Maybe it's child's pose, maybe it's tree, maybe it's mountain. because it's internal. So it's always there, even here, we can feel that same thing. Sometimes, right? Knees down, heart down. 
Little cobras. Little breaths. Inhales, lift up the heart, elbows back. Start with the toes, everything along the way. Engages to draw more space through the front. More than lifting up the heart as much as you can, we're lengthening the front body as much as we can. The lift happens from the length. The length happens from back strength. Low belly strength, drawing the core in. Keep breathing, keep going through your cobras. Push back to your knee plank. Lift up your feet, move your ankles around. Tuck the toes under and lift up your hips to down dog. So what if mountain doesn't feel that peaceful? Maybe child's pose doesn't feel that peaceful. Maybe overall it's like kind of makes you feel impatient or um, makes the mind wander. That's okay. Bring your awareness into what you see. Soften your eyes. Bring your awareness into the space between the breath cycles, between the inhales and the exhales and the inhales. Take your right leg up, or left leg up, sorry. Left leg up, three leg off. Straight back, straight up. Exhale, let that foot lead you forward all the way to the front of your mat, however you get there. Halfway lift, exhale to fold. Rise up. Through the heart into mountain, stand for a breath. Reach the arms up, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Take the left foot to lead back, soften that knee down. Again, fingertips are down. So like my uh, middle or ring finger tips are down. The other ones don't make it to the ground. <laughs> the low belly is engaged, the spine is long. We're just here breathing. Exhale, let's step back into plank pose. Strong legs, shoulder stability, core strength. Exhale your way down, cobra pose. Exhale, down dog. Right leg up, inhale, lengthen, exhale, step that foot forward, other foot can follow. All the way forward in your way, getting to the front of the mat, halfway lift, exhale, fold. I like to work on one big step forward. But sometimes little steps. All right, rise up. Come through mountain, take a breath, and begin again. Reach up, exhale, forward fold. Right foot's going to lead you back. Right foot steps back, left foot meets. Plank pose. Come through chaturanga. Maybe you're working with up dog or cobra. Knee planks, full planks, your practice. It's only right now. No big deal. Hips up to down dog. Left leg up, inhale. 
Exhale, let that foot lead you forward, all the way forward. Halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, come up, through mountain pose, exhale, around a breath. And here we go, reach up, forward fold, exhale. Left foot leads into plank pose. Great work, come through chaturanga, up dog cobra, lowering down. The inhale lifts up the heart. Gorgeous. Exhale, Ooh. back to down dog. Multiple people did that move at the same time and it looked really awesome. Great, now slowly bring your knees down. Secure your shoulders on the way down. Return into your tabletop, left leg back, right arm forward. Elbow to knee three times. Underneath the body, rounding and lengthen, inhale, exhale, contraction. Lengthen, exhale. Lengthen out. Change sides. Exhale. If it feels wobbly, slow down. Connect into that inner line of energy. Great. Lengthen out. Exhale, release back into table. Take a cat cow. into your uh, downward facing dog. Awesome. Lift your right leg up. Exhale, step it forward, come up into crescent lunge. A breath or two in crescent lunge, settle in. Reconnect to where your eyes are. The space in the breath. Sink in a little deeper, maybe. Step forward. Land into mountain. Come into chair. Lift up. Back into mountain pose. Take a breath. Bring your right foot back into crescent lunge. So step the right foot back. Adjust, adjust, and settle in. Sink in. Lower your hands down, step into plank pose, come through chaturanga. You can always try lowering as a plank until the elbows touch to the ribs into up dog. Exhale to down dog. Always bring the knees down. Left leg reaches up. Exhale, step it forward, crescent lunge. And step forward, land in mountain. Come into chair, exhale. Inhale, reach up, exhale, back into mountain pose. Take the left foot back into crescent lunge. Exhale, lower your hands down. Come through chaturanga. Exhale to down dog. Wow. Lower the knees down, return into table. 
Left leg back, right arm forward. Three times, elbow to knee. Round in, lengthen. Useful breath. Soft eyes. You can just like notice along the way as your head moves what you see. Notice the details. It'll keep you present. Change. Elbow to knee. That hip flexor work to lift your knee forward. Lengthen out. Exhale, release back into table. Let's take an easy cat cow here. Good, come back into table. Take your left leg back and your right arm forward. This time bend that back knee. Reach up and over. Maybe you can grab to your foot, maybe not. There, oh, the foot still is, still there. Rotate that top shoulder back. Exhale, change sides. So I start with the length, start with that sense of stability, bend the knee, rainbow my arm up and over. And now it becomes a bit of a twist with a quad stretch. So the top shoulder is rolling towards the spine. Exhale, let that go. One more cat cow. Let's just rise up into a kneeling position for a moment and take care of our wrists. Circles maybe, any sort of stretching that you like. Maybe squeezing, gentle massage to the wrist. Maybe you like to shake it out, I don't know. All right, come up into down dog. Lift up your heels, draw the heels to the left. Everything else remains in up in a downward facing dog. Did I say down dog? Yeah. Other side, the heels lift up and over. Good, come up through center. Let's step both feet forward. Rise up. Exhale, the hands into the heart. This is like this connection back into ourselves. And relax the arms to the sides and mountain, connecting energetically. I want to just warm up a little bit more. Come down into chair. We're going to do that sidestepping chair poses. So in chair, um, I have my hands at my hips right now just, um, just because it's stabilizing and um, grounding. Take your right foot out to the side and back down to chair. So it's kind of a bigger wide step chair pose. Knees and toes are still in the same direction though. Low belly is in, ribs are in, everything's fine. Bring it back in and down. So the feet don't have to come together. They could have about hip width apart. They don't have to be big steps. Up, left foot out, down. Your breathing, your pace, doesn't matter, fast or slow. Nothing's better than anything else. You might like to bring the arms up I generally think slower is harder. The muscles start to get really talkative. Keep 
Keep your breath. I'm gonna go one more time side to side. Into center, one more time, come down. Reach up. Let go of the hands, relax the hands. Stand in mountain pose. Whew. Great. A little bit of quad stretch, standing on one leg. Play with the angle of the leg. Get help from the wall if, or furniture, if that's useful for you. Could be one hand, could be both hands. Could be using a strap or a scarf or a tie. I'm just working with the angle of my knee, my leg. Good, change sides. Ooh. I am warm, I don't know about you guys. Good. Just soften that out, let it go. Sometimes I like to do things in a different position to kind of see what it's like without the pressure of, um, you know, like plank poses or something. So take your hands like you were in a forearm plank. Maybe they're up, maybe they're in. The elbow and the shoulder align. We're working towards up, but um, just listen to your shoulders the most. The legs are stable and strong. The low belly is in, the ribs are in. So this is as if we were in a forearm plank. Now take your right arm, rotate it up. Just rotate it out and turn it. So we're twisting, but the lower body is staying. Take care of your knees. Take care of your low back. Those two will tell you if you're twisting anywhere that you don't need to. Make it about the sides. Now bring it back in. Other arm. So I'm taking this arm and I'm just reaching it out and back. Twisting from my side body. Bring it back. Do it again on the other side. When the arm lengthens, uh, rotates, you can lengthen it if you want. That might feel good. Good. Please let that go. We're gonna try that on the mat. Let's start with the arms behind us to forward fold first. You might want a little bit of a bigger stance. So back to the front of the mat, arms behind, getting a little space there. Bend the knees, forward fold. Keep from locking out your elbows. So there's some softness in the elbow. Lifting the arms up. Great, slowly take the hands down to the low back. Slide them down your legs. Come to a little half lift. Take the right, uh, the, the, take the left foot all the way back. Back, 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 bring the knee down. Fingertips to the ground, heart up, back here. Come into your twist, back knee can be up or down. And just twisting towards the knee, top shoulder back.
Great. Lower the hand down. Now you can do it from the forearms or from the hands in your planks. I'm going to suggest forearms for this one. Knees up or down. Here we are. Right arm rotates up. Exhale, lower that down. You notice your hips probably shift to the side. That's normal, but try to keep them relatively centered so my weight doesn't drop out all the way to the side. Other side, keep going. You can have space between your feet if that helps stabilize. One more time. All right, one more time on the left side. Go ahead and lower the knees down. Lower your heart all the way down. Ah, good night, just kidding. Bend the knees and rock your feet side to side. You could probably take a nap right here, right now. Some hands under the shoulders, push up to down dog. Take your right leg up. Rotate it if you like, opening up, maybe scorpion, bend the knee, rotate the knee, open. Exhale, bring your foot all the way forward. Back foot to warrior one, rise up. Time for a little stretch for the back of the leg into our pyramid. Level hips, relax over your leg. Two more breaths. Awesome. Bend your knee, rise up. Step forward, land into mountain. Forward fold. You can swoop your arms first, forward fold. Little lift and take your right foot back, all the way back. Bring the knee down, fingertips to the ground. Good work, start to twist. You can lift your back knee if you prefer twisting with the back knee up or down. Exhale, step back. So similar, you can choose what plank your arms are in. Have a little bit of space between your feet. The, the feet move, the upper body stays. Heels to the right, heels to the left. Doesn't have to be all the way down or anything, just like a little movement, pivot, pivot. Keep going. Good. Go ahead and lower your knees down. Sink back a little bit like child's pose without like, coming all the way down. Go walk your arms forwards, draw the hips back. Come up to down dog. Good. 
Left leg lifts up, open it up. Rotate if you like, scorpion if you like. On this side, bring your foot forward, back foot to warrior one. Come up and come into pyramid. Awesome, bend your knee, come up, step forward, land in mountain, stand, breathe. Great, open out onto your mat, wide stance, parallel feet. I really just wanna do um, side angle and uh, triangle wide. So bring the hands to the hips and we'll do forward fold first. Bring your hands down, relax into your breath. Draw your kneecaps up by using your quads, lengthen through the back of the legs. Start bending into one knee at a time to lengthen through that inner leg on the other side. So however deeply feels good to you. We'll make our way up through center, come up. Open out to the left. So we find the position for side angle is the same position for warrior two. Prop up your arm and swoop your other arm down and up. Breathe through the side body, reach through your fingers. Play with drawing your shoulder back in. So the arm bone back into the shoulder and stretch more through the ribs, through the waist, through the outer hip through the arm, and maybe a little bit through the shoulder. Come up into triangle, lengthen your leg. Here we are. Good. Awesome. Bend your knee and come up. Rotate the toes back to forward fold, wide forward fold. And I'm just swaying my head side to side. You can walk your hands side to side if you want, from leg to leg. My hands are stationed under my shoulders and I'm just like letting my shoulders and my head move side to side. It's really your time to do what feels good. Rise up. Open out the other way. Find your alignment into your side angle. Could you 
Maybe open up through the side ribs a little bit more, through the side body and the waist. Inhale, rise up into triangle. Feel your feet on the ground, engage the inner legs into the pelvic floor in your triangle. Strong, stable shape. Awesome, release your hand, bend your knee, come up. Rotate one more time into your wide forward fold, doing what feels good for you. Bend the knees and come up. We'll just heel toe the feet the rest of the way and shake it out. Option for standing tree pose or standing figure four. If you're like, why well, want both? Go for it. <laughs> so tree pose if you like. Standing figure four, if you like, similar, right? Different shape for the leg, slightly different. Holding onto one foot, allowing that knee to drop down. Incredible. Please let it go. Other side. When you're standing, check your standing hip if it's kind of like leaning out to the side or not. We just want to keep it nice and aligned. To do that, I kind of like think about drawing my outer hip up to my belly button. So the inner thigh gets more um, strong. Take that knee forward. If you were in figure four, come out the way you went in. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for doing this with me. You guys, stand back to the front of your mat. We'll come into a forward fold. We're coming down. In a forward fold, if you want to sway. Let's come down to tabletop. Take the right leg back, left foot opens towards the side of the mat. We're gonna open up big into our, uh, I named it side table. I don't know what it's actually called. I don't know if it has a name. So my back leg is lifted and lengthening. My heart and my pelvis are facing the same direction forward. Bend your top knee, reach down for your foot. Another quad stretch here. Just 
Slowly let go of the foot, bring the toes down and reach up and over like a rainbow. So from the toes all the way over the body into the fingers, one big arch. Pelvis slightly forward, awesome. Come out and do that all on the other side. So the foot angles out to support this opening shape, creates more stability. Reach for your foot. Let go, toes down, big rainbow. Drawing the pelvis forward slightly might help to get into the like lower waist and hip. Exhale, come out, come down to child's pose. So slide forward to your tummy. We're gonna do that pec stretch through the um, across the side where you take your arm out to the side, not up, straight up or a little bit down. And then we roll the body away from it. And you can do that in your way, your depth. If you know that is truly not the position for you. You might take it to a wall instead and do the same thing where I anchor my fingers and draw the heart up and away. If you can stay on the mat, that's great, but it's your practice. Come out to the other side. Roll back. So we're gonna come into our um, frog, um, like child pose, kind of frog pose. So open out the knees and slide the hips back. It's gonna be whatever angle, whatever depth is right for you. I use my hands to stabilize. One more breath there, you got it. Just like make your way back up through tabletop and draw the knees back into a bind and sink into child's pose one more time. Ready, make your way up to your seat. Come into your butterfly, butterfly forward fold.
come up. Take the right leg, uh, right leg forward and the left foot across. Let's come into a, a twist. Ground into your leg. Elbow can be inside or outside. Top shoulder back. Top shoulder, uh, back shoulder. Unravel into your seat of figure four. Hands to the sides, anywhere just support yourself. No big deal. Need more feeling? Bring your foot closer. Good to take it slow, drawing the knees over to the side. Just so you can find the point to stop. Slide your foot back out. We'll take both legs forward. Lift up and fold. No problem having bend in your knees here. We're working towards length, but um, we take care of our knees. Come up right, other foot up, uh, yeah, other foot across. Awesome, come up into your seated figure four. And let that go. Bring the legs forward again. Upright to fold. This might be more of a passive, relaxing forward fold. Or you might use your hands somewhere along the legs or toes to draw you forward a little bit more. Come up right. So any comfortable seat. If you want to, we're going to do the cow, um, cow face arms. So if you want to do the legs as well, we cross at the knees, stacking the knees. Thumbs up. So I'll start with my left arm at the top, bend at that elbow. We've done a few times one side at a time. So just doing the upper arms first and then doing the lower. If that is interesting for you, feel free. Meaning that I would do this first and then I will take the arm down instead of doing it with both hands. That's up to you.
exchange. If you have your legs crossed, you can change the position. To get into that position, I usually kind of like pull my foot back towards my hip a little bit further. And then I like lean forward and back personally. That helps me settle into the most like this that I'm gonna be. And I know that within my, my hip and knee structure that this sort of position is, is available to me and that it's not available to everyone. I've always sat like this. I've always sat in like eagle pose. Like I'll take my legs and cross them throughout my whole life like that. It's just everybody is different. There we go. Awesome. You can take your legs, whatever position they were in, take them forward, pat your knees, roll your legs in and out. And let's come on down. Lay down onto your back and massage your back. Come to happy baby. Take your right knee, hug it in towards the shoulder. Take your left leg and extend it out onto your mat all the way. Strong like you're standing on it. Take your hands, interlace the fingers behind the right leg and kick the leg up. I'm just using my hands as support. Soften your top knee, take it across the body to twist. I do always, you know, recommend taking the hips an inch or two away from the direction your legs are moving. Be here with your breath. Slide out and do it the other way. So we start with the left knee hugged in. Up to the 
shoulder. Right leg up, extends out. Keep your leg up, but interlace the fingers behind the leg, anywhere along the leg. And take it across. Return into happy baby. And whatever else you need right now. It's about time to settle in. But we'll take a little time to do what feels good to your body. And when you're ready, relax onto your mat. A few moments of rest. 